Hello Blogineers, we are at Hyatt Place in Page, Arizona, and today we're going to show you the fun things you can do around here. We are at Wire Pass Trailhead in Utah, and we had to go on a dirt road from Highway 89. Um, the dirt road was extremely bumpy, it took 30 to 45 minutes to drive, um, and yeah, it was, a, it was a long drive, and now our car is really dirty. So anyways, um, we're here at Wire Pass, and we're gonna go on a 3.7 mile hike there and back, and we're gonna go to some slot canyons, so it's probably gonna be really fun. Is this our first time in the slot canyon? Yes, it will be our first time in the slot canyon. Warning. So flash floods can occur anytime because the canyon walls are gonna be very narrow, um, but since it's a clear sky, I think it should be safe. There probably won't be a flash flood. The first mile is pretty boring. I mean, there's there's like a nice landscape and everything, but there's no slot canyon. Oh, but for the first mile, it's like like this, very eventless. So, brother and I are passing the time by playing games. <laughs> After like 20 minutes of hiking, maybe one mile, um, we're finally entering the Slot Canyon. Whoa, it's so beautiful! Look at all the layers. Look at this rock. Oh wait, no, we're not. That was a false alarm. Okay, that was actually not Slot Canyon. That was more like a mini semi tunnel. Uh, but. If my math is correct, then we should be there in a few minutes. We finally arrived at the Slot Canyon. So um, I looked at the map. It seems like there's two sections. So we'll go to the first section and then it'll open in the air a bit. And then the second section and we'll be done with the trail. I think there might be petroglyphs too and a 10 foot tall ladder. This is incredible. It's like um, like two land masses or whatever kind of split open. Sort of like an earthquake or something. And it created this that you can walk through. Okay, 10 foot ladder. that um, maybe like it fell down but because it's so narrow like it wasn't able to come to the ground Whoa. maybe like when Native Americans were here they used this to make food to grind up something um in this section of slot canyon there's like a lot of water dripping down from the walls. It's kind of strange. This is the narrowest section of the three because, oh, look at this. I fit right in. Okay. Don't say more, Carol. I can easily fit in. Be careful. Okay, so just like 20 steps back, it was so narrow. It was like 
and the walls were like this thick, and only one person could pass at a time. And then, all of a sudden, it opens up to a huge, like, this is amazing. And then there's walls on all sides. Um, in fact, I think this is the end of the trail, because from here, because from here, um, you can choose to either turn left or right. But either way you choose, the trails go on for miles and miles. So really, this is like the end. Um, wow, look at the... We have reached the end of all, um, all the slot canyons, and now it's a one-mile boring hike back to the parking lot. So yeah, um, overall, uh, I guess if you if you have trouble hiking for a long time, then this might not be the best. But but it was actually really cool once you got to like this section because like the slot canyon, it was so beautiful. And then there was also ladders and um, yeah. Also, if you're doing the, if you're coming during the pandemic, bring masks because the slot canyon is kind of narrow and also hand sanitizer because of the ladder. Now we're at Grand Staircase Escalante in Utah, and this is about 30 minutes from Page, actually less than 30 minutes. Um, so we're gonna be going on the Toadstool Hoodoos Trail to go see the Toadstool Hoodoos, which are these um, natural landmarks. And the trail is gonna be 0.8 miles long each way. Yes, it's wonderful. Uh, oh, and actually, I, I suppose you can see this toadstool from the highway, because so I can see the highway there. Um, but anyway, there's like the whole, is it desert or rocky landscape? All around now, 60. Yeah. Most of all, it's toadstool. Toadstool hoodoo or whatever it is. I'm not completely Little ones are probably man-made because they migrate. See, the natives probably just like use those rocks and then stack them on top. But either way, it's kind of cool how they were able to make that. Um, that toadstool, on the other hand, the biggest one, that seems natural because because like the whole entire structure was connected. So yeah, th this is just like a natural wonder. And that is Toadstool Hoodoo's National Monument. Um, so yeah, the hike overall was pretty fun. There was a lot of like ups and downs. And climbing. And when you, yeah, and climbing. And when you finally got to the top of the toadstool, um, it was a magnificent view. So, so yeah, overall, uh, I give this a 4.5 out of 5. I it was really good. I give this a 5 since I like climbing. There was a lot of climbing. Okay, and that's all.